So in this question, we have a proton that's kind of hovering above this blue square surface, and we are asked to determine the electric flux through that square surface. The question gives us a hint. It tells us to think of the square surface as one face of a cube with edge length d. So what we have done in the adjacent picture is redrawn the figure, but this time we've drawn a cube and in the center of that cube is that positive charge. We've made sure to draw it in a manner so that the positive charge lies exactly in the center of the cube. And then we've gone ahead and drawn some electric field lines. And we can see that these electric field lines, as they emanate outward from the positive charge, they pierce each of the six faces of the cube. And because electric field lines are piercing each of the six faces of the cube, there's going to be an electric flux through each face of the cube. We can determine the electric flux in the following manner. We're going to take advantage of Gauss's law. Now, Gauss's law basically tells us that the total amount of charge that's enclosed in our cube is equal to the total flux multiplied by a constant. The trick to this question is we don't want the total flux, we want the flux through just one of the six faces. So here's how we approach it. We're going to come down and rewrite Gauss's law. So we have the constant multiplied by the total electric flux is equal to the total amount of charge inside of this cube. We'll go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by the constant so that it cancels out on the left hand side. And we now have an expression for the total electric flux. Now again, we don't want the total flux. We want it through just one side of the square or cubic Gaussian surface. So to get just the electric flux through one side of the cube, we would basically just take the total flux and divide it by 6. So that's exactly what we're going to do is divide by 6. We may actually write that as multiplication by 1 sixth. So now we can see that 1 sixth of the total electric flux would equal the amount of charge divided by 6 times the constant. This will give us the electric flux through one of the six faces of the cube. So now all we have to do is enter in the total amount of charge enclosed in our cubic Gaussian surface. And that was given in the question as the charge of a proton. And that happens to have a value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs divided by 6 times this constant, which has a value of 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And then the unit here is coulomb squared per newton meter squared. So now we can pick up our calculators and divide this out. And when we do so, we will get a value for the electric flux through one side of that square as about 3.0 times 10 to the negative ninth. And then if we look at the units carefully, we have coulombs divided by coulombs squared over Newton meters squared. And to simplify that, we would do keep change flip, so keep the coulombs in the numerator, change to multiplication, and then flip the fraction that's in the denominator. And when we do that, the coulombs would cancel, and we would be left with Newton meters squared per coulomb. So this would be the correct answer to the question.